What's up YouTube? My name is Parv and welcome to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays that we run here on YouTube twice a week for your pleasure. Starting into our number 5 play, we have Eric on Aurelia, currently heading up in this lane towards a wave of creeps. She will use her ultimate to quickly pick them all up, and now her teammates are going to start pinging for her to return, but it is going to be too late as the arrow will come in. She will get stunned, ganked by the enemy team, flash out of there, barely making it out alive as Master Yu will tower die, but Cassiopeia will land an amazing stun, saving his life, and look at how low his health is. He's staying below 100 health, but he will pick up a second kill for his team in an incredible turnaround 2 for 0 exchange. Coming in at 4th place, we have Capri Sunstraw on Shaco being the master of all deceivers in this clip as he will run his clone around this tower attempting to tempt Talon to come in as you see Talon has pop ghost and now he's going to make the tower dive with the exhaust popping his ultimate killing Shaco's clone now he's going to be running towards this bush running into his trap and all his jack in the boxes picking up a kill with a great bait right there. For third place, we have Transvestor playing on Irelia, and he is in a very high elo game, as you will probably recognize most of the players within this game. Right now, he's hiding in this bush as they see him there. Tark will toss out a stun, and Pantheon is jump, and another spear from Pantheon. So he's going to take a little bit of damage, but he will actually choose to turn around, popping his ultimate and ignite on the Tark, and he will pick up his first kill on Tark with that ignite. Now he's going to be trying to do a little bit of damage here as he's exhausted and stunned. So now he's going to try to run away as he sees Annie coming, and she will flash through the wall, nailing an awesome Tibber stun, and he will pick up his second kill on the SK Wet Dreams on Pantheon. And now that he's been ignited he knows he's got to get out of there he will flash away grogs will flash after and he will actually juke out that barrel stunning him and here comes the amazing play from the janna knocking him away and he will actually go on to pick up i believe one more kill in this play just an amazing play from all the players in this team Grabbing our number two spot, we have Fane Mode, and we've never had any of our spots one through five have different clips from one game, so this is a first. The first part is a really nice Baron Seal with his ultimate on this enemy team, and it's just epic. As of now, you can see this team is a little bit behind on kills, and if the enemy team got Baron here, it would almost be a guaranteed win. For the second part of this clip, about 10 minutes later, he will do it again with his ultimate from almost the same position, grabbing a total of 3,000 global gold for his team and two rounds of buffs. As you can tell by the score, they've started to pick it up a little bit, and for this last clip, we will show a triple kill near the end of this game that leads to victory, and I think they can attribute their entire win for this game to the double Baron seal by the Ezreal. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Dragonfire on Lee Sin, and he's headed in to try to help out his friendly Scion. He's going to shield him, and he's going to toss out a Q over to the Talon, quickly bursting him, grabbing his first kill. And now he's going to try to slow down these three players, because they know they are no match, but Scion will actually end up falling. He's going to try to pursue this Twitch, as the Twitch is shielded, and he will actually get Dragon kicked away. So he knows he's not going to be able to make it, so he's going to flash and make a break for this jungle, as he will actually turn around, toss a random Q, picking up his second kill on the Twitch. And now we're going to speed this up, as the enemy Lee Sin chases him, and Vladimir is going to try to flank around, and Vlad will miss his slowdown. And just look how low health he is. Lee Sin is going to actually come back with this Q, exhaust, and kick Vladimir in to the enemy Lee Sin, picking up his third kill and avoiding death by the other Lee Sin at the same time. And the winner for Player's Choice Week 3 is... Ophine with Thou Shall Perish landing a nasty pentakill with his ultimate and it was truly an epic clip. Just a few announcements this time. This Monday, we will unfortunately not be able to have an episode, but we will pick back up next Friday as scheduled. Also, we have Player's Choice this upcoming Tuesday as scheduled, so head on to PertainaMonster.com to vote for the clip you think deserves a spot in our next Friday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.